If you want to obtain a South Carolina dealer's license, all you need to do is obtain a dealer surety bond and garage insurance from an insurance agent. You're going to get a federal tax ID number and a South Carolina tax number, obtain a background check, have a billing and a lot. You're going to attend a class and submit your South Carolina dealer license application to the South Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm going to show you how to easily obtain your South Carolina dealer's license right now. Hello everyone, I'm Dallas Johnson with Dealer Training and if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. If you're a licensed dealer or if you're interested in obtaining your dealer's license for the very first time, our content is designed just for you. So please consider subscribing and hitting that notification button so you can view content for dealers as soon as it is uploaded. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to give you a coupon code so you can download our 134 page dealer training manual for free. So it contains a wealth of information for new and experienced dealers. And I'm going to show you how to download this for free at the very end of the video. But first, I want to show you some very valuable contact information for South Carolina dealers. South Carolina dealers are regulated by the South Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles, and they have the dealer license and audit unit, and uh, that phone number is 803-896-2611, and you can also send them an email, dealerdocuments at scdmv.net, and the official website, scdmv online. So I'll give you that information here a couple more times in the video, but I wanna go in depth in the six steps to a South Carolina dealer's license. Step number one, Dealer surety bond and dealer insurance. The state of South Carolina requires you to obtain a $30,000 dealer surety bond before you can obtain your South Carolina dealer's license. And it must be a, by a company that is authorized to do business in the state of South Carolina. And you're going to submit that original dealer surety bond. And this should cost you maybe $100 to $200 a year with good credit. But you're also going to need to submit a policy that shows that you do have dealer insurance. So the state of South Carolina does require that you have insurance before you can be issued your South Carolina dealer's license. So you want to make sure that your insurance has a $25,000 limit and the insurance does have to be in effect at all times. If you know a great insurance agent in the state of South Carolina that can sell dealer bonds and dealer insurance with the same phone call, please put their contact information below. That way we can drive a little bit more business as them. So any suggestions that you have, please give those comments below to help other dealers that might be watching these videos. Step number two, in order to get your dealer's license in the state of South Carolina, you've got to get a federal in a tax ID number and a South Carolina sales tax number. I want to give you this contact information first. The IRS, if you want to do this online, you can call them at 800-829-1040. That once, under, once again, that's 800-829-1040. Or if you want to call the South Carolina Department of Revenue to obtain your sales tax ID number online, you can call 844-898-854. I'm sorry, 8542, then click option to then option two. So you click that twice. But I'm gonna show you how to do this online so you're not gonna have to make these calls, okay? And the first number we're gonna get is called your federal employment number. This is the number that Uncle Sam is basically going to attack onto your business. And when you get your South Carolina dealer's license, I'm gonna predict that your income is going to go up dramatically. And with that income increase, uh, Uncle Sam's gonna want a bit of that. So we're gonna have to have this federal tax ID number this is also going to show the state of South Carolina that you are registered with the IRS, and so you'll be paying taxes on that income increase. Okay, so when we go to the IRS website here, we're going to click that apply for employer ID number, and then you hit the blue button down there at the bottom of the screen. And we're going to begin the application. And just as a reference, just as an example here, I'm going to show you how to get your federal employment number as an LLC. Now, I'm not telling you to get your South Carolina dealer's license as an LLC. Maybe you'll want to be a sole proprietor, a partnership, or corporation. But for this example, I'm going to show you how to get your South Carolina dealer's license as an LLC. So click that box there. And let's say we have two persons on the license and we're getting our uh, FEIM in the state of South Carolina. So click that there. Also, the IRS wants to know why you want a federal employment number. Well, most of us are going to be starting a new business. So that's the main reason we're getting that federal employment number. So you'll need to put one person on the name, one person on the license name here, along with their social security number. Then you're going to put the address of your dealership there and then your business entity structure. Click continue. And that is all there is to it. And now you're going to have an official federal tax ID number. So if you want to, you can check the second box there and the IRS will mail that to you. But I suggest checking the first box there and that way you can download it immediately. And then they, that will show the state of South Carolina that you have registered your business with the IRS. 
Next step we need to do is get that South Carolina sales tax number. So if you go to Google, type in South Carolina sales tax number, uh, just click that first link there where it says Registration South Carolina Department of Revenue, okay? And this is an automated system. You're gonna be using what's called the My Doorway. That's the My Doorway link. Very automated, and you're gonna be able to do this within just a few clicks of the mouse. You'll be able to get your sales tax ID for the state of South Carolina, so you'll legally be able to get your South Carolina dealer's license, okay? So uh, this gives you an overview of the different types of tax IDs. So what you wanna do here is you wanna make sure to put your business entity along with your federal employment number. So chronologically, everyone, you need to get your federal employment number first before you get your South Carolina sales tax number because you cannot get a South Carolina sales tax number until you have your federal employment number. So you're gonna enter that federal employment number right there you're going to click next and it's going to walk you step by step through the entire process here. But I want to give you that contact information again. The Internal Revenue Service for your federal employment number is 800-829-1040. And the South Carolina Department of Revenue is going to be 844-898-8542. That's option two. And then you select option two again. And that's dor.sc.gov. Now, step number three, we need to get a background check. Everyone, before the South Carolina, before South Carolina issues your South Carolina dealer's license, they want to make sure that you have never stole a car or rolled back odometers. You know, very soon, every single person who gets a South Carolina dealer license is going to have oversight over very, very large financial transactions. So many of the vehicles that you sell are going to be worth several thousands of dollars. And the state of South Carolina is giving you oversight over these. There's nobody else watching over it but you. So before they give you a South Carolina dealer's license to have oversight over these large financial transactions. They want to make sure you didn't rob a bank or manage some auto theft ring. They require dealers in South Carolina to be of a higher level of ethical standard than the average person walking down the street. And they want to make sure, you know, that you just didn't move in from another state after you robbed a bank or something like that. So we're going to go to the S2 verified national criminal search. Okay. And first I'm going to give you that phone number, but then I'm going to show you a couple of clicks of the mouse, how easy this is to get your background check completed. Uh, if you have questions, you can call them toll free 855-671-1933, or you can drop them an email at mail at s2verify.com. But we're going to jump right onto the website, s2verify.com. And down here at the very bottom left, you're going to click business solutions. And there's something you definitely need to be aware of. There are three options for background checks here at s to verify We've got to do the plus, okay? And the reason for this is because your background check has to include that federal criminal record search, okay? So don't get the basic, that's not enough. Don't get the expanded, that's too much, and you'll be paying for some uh, a background check that you don't need. So make sure and get the plus one. And right there, as you see on the screen, right at the current time, that's fifty-six dollars and sixty-six. I'm sorry, fifty-six dollars and sixty cents per person. And make sure and run this for every single person that you have on the license. So if you have three persons on the dealer's license, make sure that you have three of these. If you're the only person, then you will just be submitting your own background check only. But make sure and get the plus one there. That will qualify you to get your dealer's license in the state of South Carolina. So once again, there's that contact information. Give them a call if you have any questions. That's S2 Verify at 855-671-1933. Step number four, in order to get a South Carolina dealer's license, you must have a building. So your building's gonna have to be permanently enclosed and your established place of business must be devoted mainly to the operation of your dealership. And all your sales activity is going to take place at your license location, okay? So that's one thing that the state of South Carolina is going to require. You must have an office in this building with at least 96 square feet. You must have at least 2,000 square feet of interior or exterior space for display vehicles or a combination of the both. You could have, you know, a thousand square feet outside and a thousand square feet inside or something like that. But you must have also a permanent business sign with your dealership name in at least six inches high or larger. So banners are not permitted. So the sign's got to be permanent in nature. And you're going to submit photographs of your office and your lot and your sign. So the dealership name on that sign has to be at least six inches. It has to be viewable from the nearest roadway. OK, so the state basically wants your dealership to be identified as a dealership. So that's why the state of South Carolina does require uh, that you have a sign on that building. And the state of South Carolina does not allow a dealer's license to be at a residence. Okay, so it does have to be an official building. And you want to make sure that building meets local zoning requirements. Uh, so if you want to, if you're not sure if the building you're going to use meets local zoning, 
You can contact the city or the county that that building is in. Usually talk to planning and zoning, and they'll tell you whether or not you can have a dealership at that location because the state of South Carolina does require every dealership operate a bill at a building that is zoned to have a dealership. Step number five, state law requires that you attend an eight-hour dealer training classes, and they do have these training classes all over the, all over the state of South Carolina. Uh, I've never dealt with the Carolina Independent Automobile Dealers Association. I'm sure they'll give you a great training class. I have spoke with Kat at Carolina Dealer Training, uh, so she'll she'll give you great training as well. And both of these companies also do training up in North Carolina. So uh, you know. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. If you don't want to have to drive to these locations, then you might contact your state representative or state senator and tell them that you would like to be able to take your dealer training class online. The state of South Carolina currently does not allow that, but uh, if you want to be able to take that training class online, contact your state representative or your state senator and tell them that you want to get your dealer's license and you're going to be a very, very large sales tax generator for the state and you should be able to take your training online if that's something that you're interested in. Step number six. You've got to submit a South Carolina dealer's application in order to get a South Carolina dealer's license. And you're going to submit that application to the South Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles. And there's actually two parts of this application. There's DLA-1 and ADA-808A. And I'm going to show you both of these, okay? Uh, in fact, the first one, this is called uh, dealer DLA-1, which is dealer license application. So if you go to Google, type in South Carolina form DLA-1, you're going to see it's the very top link there. And we're going to download that form. And you really want to spend some time on this dealer application because when you do submit a correct dealer application to the state of South Carolina, they're going to approve your dealer license in a much quicker manner, hopefully in about 30 days. Okay, So you'll need to check that most of us are going to be doing a first time application here. And most of us are going to be retail dealers or maybe a wholesale dealer. Don't forget your application fees there. You'll need to put the contact information with your dealership along with your surety bond company as well. And you want to make sure that you've downloaded the dealer manual. So don't check that you've uh, downloaded the dealer manual unless you have. Uh, you know, a floor planner is a, a lending company that will give you loans for your vehicles. And usually you won't have a floor plan company until you actually obtain your dealer's license. But once you get your dealer's license, there's going to be a lot of companies out there that want to give you a loan for the inventory on your on your floor. Sometimes we call the lot the floor. So those, that's what a floor plan is. So make sure and fill that information out correctly. And by the way, dealer licenses applications have to be submitted correctly. If you ever put false statements of material fact on a South Carolina dealer license application, uh, the state of South Carolina will charge you with a misdemeanor. So make sure that information is correct. Then we're going to go back to uh, Google, and we're going to do the second form here, South Carolina Form AD808A. Okay, so you're going to jump on that, and this is basically called an affidavit of eligibility. This is your driver's license and things like that, and you need to select, hopefully, that you are a U.S. citizen, and you'll submit all those documents to the state. And once again, I want to give you that valuable contact information. We're going to take all this paperwork, and we're going to shove it into a great big envelope. We're going to throw a couple of stamps on it, and we're going to mail it to South Carolina Department of Motor Vehicles. That's going to be the Dealer License and Audit Unit P.O. Box 1498 in Blackwood, South Carolina, 29016-023. And if you have questions, you know, either you're getting ready to get your license or you just got your license, you can call them at 803-896-2611. Also, you can drop them an email at dealerdocuments at scdmv.net. Okay, so when you submit that application correctly, you should get your dealer's license back from the state of South Carolina within about 30 days. So once you obtain your South Carolina dealer's license, you must display the dealer license prominently. So you're going to work really hard to obtain that South Carolina dealer's license. You're going to be proud when you obtain your South Carolina dealer's license. And South Carolina law requires that you display your dealer's license prominently when it's granted. So don't put it in the back of some desk drawer or lock it in some vault. Frame your official South Carolina dealer's license and display it prominently on the wall. This is a South Carolina state law. All South Carolina dealer licenses must be displayed prominently. And on a final note, I've I've been in this industry for many years. Uh, I've owned a profitable dealership. I've actually trained thousands of persons just like you in a classroom environment all over the United States in order to help them obtain their dealer's license. And one thing I've learned in all these years in this industry is if you maintain 100% compliance, which means you follow every rule, every law and guideline, you're going to maintain 100% profits in this business. So I, I promise you, ethics and integrity will take you to the very, very top of this industry profit-wise. So now I want to show you how to easily download your free 134-page dealer training and profit manual that we normally charge 
$19.95, and I'm going to show you how to download it for free. You just go to our official website, that's dealertraining.org. Once again, that's dealertraining.org, and you're going to click on that blue Download Now button, and here you're going to see that coupon box. You want to make sure and enter our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com backslash dealer training. Once again, that is youtube.com backslash dealer training. And once you click the apply button, you're going to see over there to the far right that that $19.95 charge is going to change to zero. And then you can easily download that manual for free. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please view the other videos on Dealer Training Channel. And if you have found value in this video or you found value in the manual that you downloaded, I would like to ask you to please share the video. Please consider subscribing. Uh, hit that thumbs up and please consider hitting that notification bell. So thank you very much. I want to wish you the very best of luck with the operation of your dealership.